Hello everybody, Andrea here with Dental L. So I have been in the dental profession for about 15 years. I have my own practice in my house, plus I go to um, patients' homes to actually see them too. So I am a mobile dental hygienist. But what I wanna to talk to you guys today about is, and I get this question a lot, is when should your child be using a toothpaste that contains the fluoride? So on a lot of toothpaste, it says to not use it until your child is six years old. But from what I've seen, some children do need it a lot sooner than that. And by not giving it to them, their teeth will only get worse. They will get more cavities and there will just be more problems, not to mention you would have to spend a lot more money. Um, I see a lot of children who are two or three, as an example, with a mouth full of cavities. As you can imagine, we can't fix those teeth without having the patient, without having your child put to sleep in a lot of cases. If those cavities are not caught early enough, because again, imagine trying to fix cavities on children and each tooth takes like 10 minutes, it's just not happening, especially a two or three year old. But the good news is in a lot of cases, if those cavities are caught early enough, we can actually put a thin, um, liquid, it's called um, silver diamine fluoride, on the tooth and that will eat away at that cavity and that's it. The cavity will, will not get any larger, it will stop entirely and your um, child hopefully will not have, have any pain anymore and they do not have to get any dental work done. So that helps so much. But before it gets to that point, you guys, if your child is getting a lot of cavities or if they if they like to eat a lot of sugar which happens if they don't like to use their toothbrush often or it's a um a constant fight then they absolutely should be having one even age two so i like to suggest this one so let me just kind of show you guys so there are a couple out there but i like this one because it has 1.1 sodium fluoride. There are many different types and some of them don't don't quite work the same and some of them actually do stain the teeth. So the last thing you want is to be is to be using a toothpaste with it in there but then your child is getting stained. Doesn't help. Another um, reason why I like this one is because it has 10% which you guys can't really see that sorry. There we go. 10% xylitol. So that's something that you guys should know a little bit about. So that can actually help to change that pH that is in his or her mouth. So if the dental hygienist has ever said to you that your child might have acidic saliva, and this also actually does, does the same thing for adults too. So if you have been told that you have acidic saliva, um, you need a combination of xylitol and 1.1 sodium fluoride because that um, xylitol will actually change the pH in the mouth so it gets higher, so it cannot cause a cavity. If your pH is too low, it's, it's a constant, I guess, environment for cavity-causing bacteria. But on top of that, if you can use, again, you guys, high strength sodium, um, sodium fluoride on the teeth with your toothbrush, you will not get cavities, hopefully. Nothing's perfect, but this is doing everything that you possibly can to not get cavities. And for children, they are at that age where they get cavities a lot. But imagine having your dental hygiene appointment and they don't have a cavity, even if they've had many, many cavities before, it is so possible for them to not get any more. So they need something like this, even age two, even age three, but the young they are don't, you know, I would have it looked at by a dental hygienist first. In my opinion, at the very least, you guys, even if they do eat some of it, because age two, they can't spit yet, right? Some two-year-olds maybe, but probably not too much. Even if they're eating some of it, what's the worst that could happen? Yes, they might have an upset stomach, but they have to eat a lot for that to happen. But I would prefer that than them getting a mouthful of cavities and then you have to put them to sleep if they're not caught early enough and that liquid doesn't work that I, that I um, 
um, talk to you guys about. So there are many different things. Okay, so let me know if you guys have any questions. I am so happy to help. And just having that said, you guys, it doesn't have to be by this company, but I like this one because it also contains xylitol. So look it up, do your research. It is amazing for your mouth. Okay, thank you guys so much. And let me know if you have any questions.